Ho! Oh, what's going on, YouTube? It's Daddy P all day. All right, so here's the thing. The Rambo knives, the Last Blood knives. They came to me. I reviewed them. We saw them. They are awesome. But how awesome are they? They might be a little bit more awesome than I even mentioned. Um, first things first, the scales. The scales I call plastic. On the website, it actually says they're G10. If these are G10 and not plastic, I'll be a little surprised. Once they're off, they feel a little bit softer than they do on. So if they're G10, um, they're a weird G10 because if it's a G10 that feels plastic. But who knows? It could be. It really, really could be. One of the cool things, and I showed you the lanyard hole, right? Um, but besides that, you see that? That little tab right there? That little tab goes inside the guard to help it hold and not slip. That is a very, very cool little thing. Um, also, the scales, oop, when together, are held on by Chicago screws. For those of you who don't know what Chicago screws are, it is a screw that is two ends, two screw head ends, and it basically just screws into itself, giving you the ability to A, take them off if you need to ever take them off. And um, B, it just makes it simpler. It's a, it's a very easy thing. There's, there's no epoxy, there's nothing. They just screw together. Now, um, one of the questions I had about this knife was, how does the guard stay on, right? So I'm gonna show you, and I thought this was awesome, and it really spoke to me about the shroud. And, how really, really intelligently that is done. Um, I'm liking it more and more the more I find out about this knife. So this is the heart stopper taken apart. This tang is full. You see, it doesn't even just go here. It goes all the way past the bend. So you can see, boop, right there. It goes all the way to there. That's a full tang. The tang is how far it goes through the handle, not the excess of the handle. This is the part that sticks out. That's not that's not part of a tang when you're talking about full tang. When you're talking about full tang, it has to meet the end of the handle. This one does. And I was telling you about how they did this little round job right here. It's like a little, it screws on to the end. And what that does is by tightening this, it pulls this guy. I think it's a mailman. I think it's a mailman. Hold on. Oh, right. It was the mailman, but it wasn't for me. So let's get back to this. So, so I was telling you that somebody asked me how the guard is held on. So this is, this is just awesome. And more and more that I learn about this knife, the more I realize how much the value is compared to the price, right? This guard and this shroud are one solid piece. There is no welding, there's no secondary. No, this is one solid piece, right? Which is awesome. You have one solid piece of steel going from all the way to the rear of the handle to the tip of the blade. So you have a full tang knife. Now you have a full shroud and the shroud, you see it, it pinches here. So it, it has a stabilization here, has stabilization here. Um, now you have this area with this little guy right here and they torque the hell out of it onto these two things right here, which pulls this thing to the blade. It is going nowhere. Then what they do is they put these little notches. See that round, that's that rectangular notch right there that goes around that piece and locks it on. That is awesome. So how it's built is actually really, really well. It's built very, very well. And it's the same for this one. It's, a, it's the same exact thing on the inside, minus, of course, the bend at the end. It's um, all held on, pulled tightly, and really squeezed on by this guy right here. Now, even if I didn't have this, or if it didn't have this, the Chicago screws holding on this would hold that really well. It would just keep it nice and tight but they wanted to secure it even more. So what they did is they just added to it. And I thought, 
that was really, really great. Now, some people might think, oh, but that's a skinny tank. That's a full tang, guys. When you're talking about a custom, a lot of times you're going to see the blade come up like this and then that. So you have grip size because you have to remember it's pretty fat right here. The widest point of this blade is two inches. So you can't have a two inch handle because then it would just be a big block in your hand. So it comes up. Then you have this little piece down right here. You know how um, the Old West style buoys are made and Musso buoys are made. That's exactly how they're made. That's when, that's what the tangs look like in those, except those tangs either come to a point or they go to a rat tail or something similar, but they're generally not like this, not a full tang. This is a really nice tang and it is a solid, um, what it's reading is a uh, just under a quarter inch at 0.23 inches. Um, so that's just under a quarter inch. I got sap from hitting some trees. I was out there again with it. Um, uh, just under a quarter inch thick all the way through the tang. There's no deviation. It, it doesn't it doesn't pinch in nothing. So um, there's no tapering at all. This thing is completely solid from rear to front. And this holding it on is great. And this alone is steel. This isn't some cheap material. This is fantastic. So you're getting the shroud with the guard on it is its own hunk of metal. And this thing is just nasty, nasty, nasty. So now I'm going to read you something that somebody sent me. Somebody a lot smarter than most of us when it comes to steels. Um, his name is Steel Loving You on here. I mean, you don't have a name like Steel Loving You if you don't know your steels. So this is what he wrote to me. It's, you know, he's like, hi, d -bet. Um It's definitely a striking good looking knife, but the blade steel. And he let me know that this is nowhere near like some kind of 440 or cheap CR 13 MOV type stuff. No, 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 no. This steel is a awesome freaking steel. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Apparently, neither did a bunch of other people. Um, this is real steel. So when people are making these customs out there, the customs that they're making aren't even as good as this, which is crazy to think about because this is a movie replica. Why have I not had to touch the edge after banging away on it twice now in this knife? Because um, I went out there again today. Um, why has there no, no issues with the edge? Because this steel is ridiculous. All right, so this is what it is. This steel is Niolox. It's the same family as S35VN and 3VMOD. That's some real steel, y'all. Um... He said it's a step up from 3V MOD. 3V MOD right here. That's a high-end steel. This is better. Um, let's see. The carbon content of S35VN is point uh, is 1.4. Um, niobium is 0 0.05. Um, the Niolox carbon content is 0.8. And the Niobium is 0.7. Um, it has other ingredients, the alloys to change the properties and carbides. So it's got a very low carbon content. Um, you know, so that's why it's, you know, it's a stainless steel, obviously. Um, and he put, you know, that's why I'm guessing that the knife is $200 and not just being a collection run. Yeah, he's right about that. Then he said something else in another spot and I'm going to try to find him real quick. Let me press pause because that's me in the background. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find him real fast. Here we go. So he let me know that the handle scales are G10. Feel, felt like plastic. Swear to God it did. Felt like plastic. Blade thickness is 0.23. Blah, blah, blah. And he said he's really intrigued by the Niolex steel because it's part of the Niob uh, Niobium alloy steel family. Um that's great information to have. That's great information to have because the website doesn't put that out. They just put stainless. It's like they don't care. They just put stainless in a price tag. And most people are looking at this price tag and they're thinking, oh man, for a cheap movie knife? Oh, and they're, they're all thinking like this is going to be like the all the other Rambo knives where they're just made to collect. Wrong. These knives are made better than most of the knives you probably own right now. These are serious, serious blades. I just closed my computer on the Chicago screws. 
Um, just the fact that this is a solid piece, both knives, solid piece, um, garden shroud, a full tang blade of superior steel. Um, that says a lot. That says a lot about what they wanted to get out of these knives. Um, and remember, it's the uh, the HCG. No other ones are going to have this. Um, this is just the Hollywood Collectibles group. They went all out on this knife. So remember, if it's not right here, Rambo, First Blood, and if it's not right here, First Edition, whatever number out of what out of five thousand, made by HCG. You aren't getting a super steel knife. You're just not. You're just getting something else, something somebody whipped together. This thing right here, guys, I, I mean, I'd like to say I can't even describe to you, but I just did how awesome this thing is. It's really, really well done. I love the fact that these just clip in there and give it a really nice seating. So when you're taking off your handles, at first, it you take off the rear and you take off the, the front and you're, you can't get it off. And you're like, why the hell can't I? You have to pull it out. Found that out. So with Chicago screws, all you do is you take one Chicago screw and you stick it in one half. And then you take your other Chicago screw and you stick it from the other half and you give it a little spin until it connects with it, with itself on the other side. Once it does that, then you just stick in the other one and you are good to go. Chicago screw, side A, Chicago screw, side B. So... This is um, this is the kind of information that you know you wish you had from the beginning because, pff, man, I wouldn't have had to make a third video. But uh, telling you guys, telling you, telling you, telling you, they uh, they pulled no punches doing the last blood knives um, when these showed up, and I got totally excited that they did. I had no idea these were coming. All of a sudden, boom. I get an email and voila, I have the last blood knives. And I thought to myself, yippee. So, and, and when I, when I got them originally, initially, um, I was thinking movie production copy quality knife. That's exactly what I was thinking because you can get the, you can get the Rambo three made by the same group, but it's not the, it's not super steel. There's, it's not made like this. It's a rat tail. And it's made of uh, made of cheaper materials. There's no way, no way you're getting a knife of this quality, probably made by anyone else, for a Rambo knife. Even if you went to custom makers, there's a chance you're not getting this quality. This is fantastic, phenomenal. Um, and not just one, but two. This one I got to clean up because I took this out a little bit more. Um, this one I already washed and oiled. This one's got to be washed and oiled. I, I so much more respect for these now that I have the proper information and I have more knowledge on what's going on with these. Um, and they work. You guys saw the videos. And if you haven't, go see the videos. Watch my reviews on these because I bang them. And I was hitting them hard thinking they were cheap material. And I was thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and hit it. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I hit it hard and I was blown away at how well they were holding up now i know why because these things are custom made knives and i don't know if it's going to be all the way through i don't know if they're going to keep the same materials and the same um, construction through the next production this might just be the first five thousand the second five thousand they might say all right now that we made all those badass customs let's make some you know the regular knives um if you know if John J. Rambo was out there pounding away in his in his forge making him some knives, and he wanted the real ones, this is what he would have made it. This is you know he would have made it out of, out of real steel, and uh, that's just phenomenal to me. You know I think I think I forgot to mention besides the choils which are awesome in this knife, I forgot to mention the thumb ramp that's jimped. It's nice. It's very nice. Very well done. But um, I'm telling you now, so y'all heard it. Um, but yeah, just. Very, very impressive. I, I wish I'd known then what I know now. Um, it, to, to have this kind of steel on these knives, remember, get them if you can. Get them if you can. The HCG knives, get them if you can because they're the only ones that are going to be of this material 
and the first 5,000, the first edition run, which these both are, might be the only ones that you will ever get of this material. So um, very, very important if you want the real Rambo knives. Like, you know, you have you have the uh, those cheap, uh, the Chinese-made Rambo knives from Mission 1, Mission 2, the original hollow handle knives. You have these cheap ones that you can use, without a doubt you can use, but light use because if you go too heavy, you're going to break them. Then you can go buy a Jimmy Lyle original one, and that Jimmy Lyle knife is going to be ridiculous. But you're going to be spending over $1,000 to get ridiculousness. Um, where these ones, you're spending, I think it's like, what, I think they have them going for $189, something like that. That's how much you can get these for. I looked on the website, um, $189, and you're getting real steel, a full custom suite blade both of them sweet blades and the sheaths alone are just awesome you know what i mean a lot of places you're gonna spend a hundred bucks just on this you know what i mean it's just really really nice so i i needed to update you guys you know i i was wrong in the first videos because i didn't know i thought they were made cheaper than they are and i really didn't get a chance to look into it because i got them and i wanted to put the videos out there but wow I mean, you talk about a boing in your brain. That did it. I was blown away. So, a, uh, a straight up thank you to Steel Loving You. And um, that's all one word, is loving you is one word. Um, but he he's the one who, he's the one who really gave me the information on the steel. The rest of it. Um, I just kind of had to take it apart to find out what's going on and I did and the more you hold these things whew, The more you like them the more you like them. I am going to show you one thing one thing before we drop out and cop out Once I put away the Once I put on the nine the heart stopper. I want to show you handle for handle My Rambo knife um, compared to this Rambo knife because this handle was inspired by this one. Do you see the difference in the girth? This one is more slim and you can see how it's not so, um, harshly cut right there. It's got the same shape, but less cut. What that does is when you put it in your hand, no matter what hand size you are, it's going to work. The, the being less, cut up right there not having such a dramatic curl right here really puts it nicely in the hand it fits beautifully i have to say that of the two handles this one designed after this one um uh my john j tribute buoy the d-bad john j tribute buoy is way more comfortable it's way more comfortable but this one still feels good still feels good whoo man you can see too my guard is nice and slim where this one's really wide. It's the only thing I really didn't care about the guard is the fact that it flares out so much, but it has to, to cover this girth. You can see mine doesn't need that. It's much, much smaller. It's more fit to the hand. Whew, gosh, they are just awesome. They are just awesome. Hoo-wee. Gosh, I love this. All right, so that's it. Update is done. Uh, now I know, now you know, now we all know. We can all just go around knowing. Um, that's it. Still waiting on a whole bunch of pieces to come in. And just because we have the entire Rambo collection doesn't mean we're done with Rambo knives. Not even close. Uh, the Kukri House will be, will be, not yet, but they will be, um, constructing my Rambo 3. You can see it in my community tab if you haven't already. Um, or you could see it on my Facebook page. It's it's still up there somewhere. Just go into my photos and it'll be somewhere in there. Um, but that thing is going to be sweet. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking down the line, I might do some um, full tang versions of the one and two, the hollow handle knives. I might just do full tang versions of those guys. And I'm trying to piece it together how I want to do it all. But I want to keep them looking very very similar to the originals but better just made better so that's it awesome man what a roller coaster of rambo emotions on these guys
that's it. You know how excited I am? That much. All right. I'm Donnie B. All day. Until next night. Wow. <laughs>